Well, hello everybody. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some of my best and worst beauty and fashion purchases for summer 2021. So let's kick it off with a best. And that would be something I've already shared over on my blog, KaylaPrice.com. And it was about tips for purchasing shorts, especially for women over 50. And these were one of the sh pairs of shorts I included, and they are paper bag cuffed shorts from The Loft. And so they're, they tick all the boxes, and if you want to know all of the things I was looking for in shorts, then read the blog. But I ended up, I first got them in green, and then I went back and got them in navy, and you can wear them with the cuff up as they were mail to me. This pair was mail to me, but I will be ironing that down because that would make them just a little too short for my five foot two body. Uh, they, they, as far as a paper bag wasted short go, goes, they don't have too much fabric. So they're attractive especially if you are wider in the middle. A lot of times all the extra fabric there does us no favors, but these have really thick uh, fabric that still has a bit of spandex or, you know, give in them. And they just look really good on, I think, and wear really well. They've washed really well. They're just a good pair of shorts. And usually with loft, you can get a pretty good uh, discount. So, that would be a recommendation I would have for you. And again, they are considered one of my best. Now for a worst, I'm just gonna get those out of the way. For a worst, and it's really not the fault of these purses. These are cute, cute purses that I bought on Amazon. The first one is this cute little wicker basket it came with the twilly that i put on the handle it also came with an ivory ribbon that you could put as a bow on the handle inside it has the little bag that cinches in so all of your goodies are hidden and you know don't just roll out of your purse the only thing about this i've had this bag for probably two months now and last night was the first time I grabbed it to carry it. So it's not the purse's fault. It's obviously my fault. It is a very nice, cute purse. The other one I'll go ahead and show to you is equally as cute. It's a smaller round one. It has a removable pearl handle that can be a hand handle or go over, you know, the crook of your arm. And then it also has this gold chain that can be a make it a shoulder bag or a crossbody. It too has the little bag inside that cinches in. They're both of these two bags are more of that structured kind of wicker sort of material. This is a cute bag. I think it was about $27. I think this one was about 30 or 32. They just aren't bags that I think to grab when I'm heading out of the house. And I wonder if it's because they don't have a lot of design detail or color in them. I'll show you for my next best purchases, uh, two wicker bags that I got from a different company and they have a lot more color and design, so possibly that's the reason. Now, these two bags, they both do have a tendency to pick and pull. So with a sweater like I have on today, I wouldn't want to carry either of these two because, you know, they would harm the fabric, but, but they're still cute bags. And I do think that they can be used for other things. I think this would make a really good little drink holder on your table, like a bottle of water or wine. Uh, and then this would make a cute little lunch, you know, lunch pail sort of a deal for a lady. So anyway, I just think they're cute. They would be cute decorations. They are cute purses. I think this one, if it had a long strap would be nicer. I have seen people, you know, add straps 
I guess you could add them here. So I'll have to play around with that. But maybe I'll get a little more uh, carry out of these to next summer. So let me show you my next two best. That would be these two bags from a company called Spartina 449. Now, of course, these are a bit more expensive than the Amazon bags, but there is just so much style in them. This one is more of a raffia or seagrass kind of bad bag. It has more give in it, so you don't have to worry about breaking one of the uh, wicker pieces. It has a little bag inside that cinches up and the little cinch has these cute little raffia tassels. It has a woven leather hand strap. And then it also comes with a leather shoulder or crossbody strap, which I haven't even obviously taken out of the package, but it's just such a cute bag. It is a little bigger, but I, I just think it will have a lot of wear it has great colors with the coral, the blush pink, there's some white turquoise, a dark sage green and a light sage green. So it's hitting all of the colors for the summer. Now the other bag I got from Spartina 449 is this one. And this has been my daily bag for a few weeks now. It's got the little hand handle and the shoulder strap as well and these are real leather at the top and then it has the cute pink and ivory down here at the wicker part the wicker is not the shiny wicker it is more of a natural finish and you just open it up and here is my favorite thing about this bag it will open wide so you can get down in there and see what you've got and pull out what you need. So often you see handbags where everything fits, but you have no way to get it out because it's all so jammed in there tight. So these bags, they are more expensive than the Amazon bags, but let me tell you this. There is a theory as far as value that you get on your belongings, and it's in the case of clothing or handbags or shoes, cost per wear. Although the handbags are only in the $30 range, if I only carry each of them once, then that's $30 per wear for these bags. These Spartina bags are more expensive. I did get this one. Well, I think I got both on sale. I believe this one might have been $100 or $118. And this one, I'm thinking $128, but I could be wrong. This one, if it was, let's say, $100 and I carry it 100 times, it's only costing me a dollar per wear. So this is a much better value for my money than the less expensive Amazon bags just because if I wear these more, then I'm actually getting my money's worth out of them. My next worst purchase is a dress and it's actually a cute dress and I love the dress. It's just that I have never worn the dress and I have had it probably since April or May. This is a dress from Target. I think it only costs $26. It is made of a nice uh, cotton fabric. The pattern hits all the boxes as far as white background, pretty pink flowers, and then it's trimmed in what I would say is a sage green. It could be a light brown. It's got the sharing, the square neckline, the puff sleeves, all the things that are in style this summer. Every time I go to put it on though, I feel like I have on a little girl's dress, which isn't the fault of the dress. I am don't feel comfortable wearing it. So I should have thought about it a little more before I bought it, but now that I have it, the best thing I can do is go ahead and move it on while it's in style so that somebody else can get some joy out of it. So sadly, my $26 purchase was not a good investment for me. Now on to a good purchase and that would be the Zella joggers. They are something that I bought in the Nordstrom anniversary sale and they have the cuffs at the bottom 
which sometimes that sort of a thing doesn't really look good on me since I'm five foot two. But for whatever reasons, these do not bunch up at the ankle. There is not too much girth in the legs that make me look like I have on harem pants. They're just well-made, well-constructed, and the fabric is amazing. I thought it might be the kind of fabric that would pick, so I was a little worried that Archie would uh, do some damage to them, but they are Archie proof. So I really think these, they have a, a kind of, I would almost say a thicker fabric. It isn't thick, it, It's a, but it's not gonna be too thin for winter either, if that makes sense. I just love this fabric, and I loved it so much that I did go back and get the same Thing in gray and I wished I would have thought to get a second pair while they still had the navy blue ones in stock so they may be back in stock at the regular price now I will look and leave that information below and I'll leave if there are links to all of these items I will leave them below as well but these I believe were 59 regular price they just look good they're you know the sewing and cutting of the fabric is all done top notch. So I think there are going to be items that will last me for several years and I definitely will get my money's worth out of those. And my next worst purchase for the summer is this cute H&M dress. They uh, offered, I think it was called the Wildflower Collection and everything sold out really quickly and I got this dress. Well, I, this one, a second dress, and then a pair of shorts. And really, all of the items ended up being too big for me, even though I had sized down. So, but this dress in particular, I don't feel comfortable with the exposed shoulders. I should have been more thoughtful about that when I purchased. It does look better with a belt on than no belt. And again, if you watched a video that I did a week or two ago about trends that aren't doing us any favors, well, this was one of the dresses I featured because it has so much fabric in it that it just, and it's so long, it just kind of swallows me up. But I think, because I have fallen in love with the fabric, I think that I will actually make a knee length dress out of this and it will have plenty of fabric probably left over some fabric uh, to make a shorter dress and make some kind of shoulder covering so i think it'll work out in the end and next best purchase is this pair of nicholas kirkwood shoes in a pewter color they are i believe they're called baja possibly uh, they're a flat with gold trim pointed toe and they're very very comfortable but by choosing this metallic that is not too shiny it just becomes a great neutral for running out of the house with shorts or a dress or jeans or anything they're just kind of a timeless look and a color that works with so many things. So they have been a really good purchase for me and I keep finding myself just, you know, finding outfits that these are the perfect shoes for them. They are an expensive brand. You can find often on the Real Real or eBay or some of the uh, thread up, some of the resale uh, shops. You can find them much cheaper, new with tags even a lot of times and they just, you know, are a comfortable shoe. But because I wear them so much, even though I did pay a bit more for them, I still am getting a good value for my money. So I would recommend a good basic flat shoe like this that goes with everything just to have. They're great for travel because you don't have to carry so many different pairs of shoes when you have a pair that goes with so much but they have been a really good purchase for me this summer on the other hand these slides from gucci haven't been that great of a purchase and a couple of reasons one is that the 
pink in the coloring is a little more peachy than pink, so they don't really go with as much in my wardrobe as I'd hoped. So I'm kind of left more to greens or blues, some of the accent colors. But the other thing about these shoes, they're really well made and very structured. So they don't have give like the Nicholas Kirkwoods, their leather, they stretch and mold to your feet over time. These are so structured that they don't have any give. So sometimes after I've had them on for a little bit and my feet have swollen, I have a hard time getting my foot back in them which isn't the fault of the shoe. It's just, again, I should have thought about that a little bit more, maybe worn them around the house a little bit more before I actually committed to them. So, I don't know. I may pass them on. I may keep them, but they are definitely cute, and that is not a problem. It's just they aren't something that I reach for that often when I need a pair of shoes. So, so far, they're hitting the worst category. My next best purchase has been my Omnilux LED face mask. This thing is a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. And I'm not good with all the science and technology sort of things. You can look that up and research it for yourself. But what I can say is that it actually makes a difference on my skin. I use this mask not only on my face, but then after I wear it for 10 minutes on my face, I put it 10 minutes on my neck like this. And then the last 10 minutes, I lay it over my hands, like both of them underneath like that. And so I can see my hand a lot more in all different kinds of light. It has made such a difference on my hands, just making the skin tone appear more even. My whole, you know, hand to me looks more youthful. I mean, I'm 54 now, so they're never going to look like they did when they were 20. But I have been pleased with this uh, mask. Like I said, not only is it comfortable, but when you charge it up, you can then remove this part. This is what turns it on, but then is like the battery backup. So you don't have to be connected to the wall while you're wearing it. And they do make the mask for necks and for hands, but because they're so expensive, I didn't really want to invest the money. So I'm just using my one mask in three different ways and so far I have really enjoyed it and feel like it is a best purchase. For my next worst purchase, that would be Clarins. This is extra firming. It's just for your neck and decollete. I wish I'd have done more research before I bought this because since purchasing it, I have discovered that it's really not always good to put heavily scented items on your neck. You know, we have historically, we put perfume kind of on our neck area. Apparently, our necks tend to be a little more sensitive than even our faces. So what I found out with this product, something in it, whether it was a scent or the ingredients, it gave me a really bad chemical burn on my neck and I've never had that before. So it kind of just uh, was odd to me. And so that's when I started looking more into what is gonna fix the waddle that we get with age. And I learned that really there is no cream that is gonna work. And sure enough, this didn't do anything to change my appearance. It really, the only benefit I found was it smelled good. Oddly, like I said, I think this was $99 or $100, somewhere up there. Oddly, I have this $12.99 product from Target or Walmart or Amazon and lactin. It's something several years ago a dermatologist told me to use on something that was dry skin and I do not remember what. But this is a... Um, moisturizing lotion with alpha hydroxy therapy. You just put a little, I've been putting it right where my problem area is. It's not gonna fix the problem, but it does hydrate so that it appears 
not as prominent as it would if I didn't have anything on my neck. So apparently the only way to fix the problem is to actually have surgery or to go to like a med spa where they have more powerful devices that will actually work under the skin surface to try to tighten the sagging problem. So again, I'm not technical. I just know for at home, $12.99 worked better for me than, you know, $100. So do your research. There is no magic bullet out there in any kind of a bottle. If I know going in, it, my problem isn't going to be solved. I would rather spend less to have better results than to spend more with no results. But that would be it today for me on best and worst items for the summer. I would love to know if you love or hate these items that I pointed out or what are your best and worst purchases of the summer. Please share so that the rest of us can learn from your experience as well. If you are new here, please subscribe. And while you're subscribing, if you'll go ahead and hit the bell icon, you will get notifications each time I post a new video, which is about once a week. And while you were pushing all those buttons, why not go ahead and push the thumbs up button just so I'll know you like this video and that you want to see more of this type of programming. Thank you so much for being with me. I look forward to seeing you again next week and in reading your comments below. Bye-bye. <laughs>